What is going on, guys? Taylor Super with LocksDFS.com bringing you my locks and sleepers for this Saturday eight game NBA slate. Uh, thought I put out a video on Saturday just because my video was so late yesterday. Apologies for that. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it, it was pretty good. Um, Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal, Sadaransky, Jeremy Grant, they all treated us very, very well yesterday, especially for their price points. Um, but today is really no different. Um, but before I dig into that, please give me a follow on Twitter at Taylor Stuber. Going to be giving away some of my favorite plays of the video that I can't get to in this video. And um, also, if you want to enter that giveaway that is it ends tomorrow, all you have to do is subscribe, uh, like this video, and then comment below with your favorite play of the day. And uh, you'll be entered for a chance to win a free NBA pass, soccer pass, whatever pass you want. Um, the soccer pass is coming out. The two, new 2019 pass was just released, so uh, make sure to get on that before um, we sell out because we are selling just a limited amount of those. But anyways, let's just get into it. Yeah, like I said, eight games on the slate, and it's pretty much like yesterday. John Wall is unlikely to play today, um, more towards the doubtful side, so I doubt he plays today. Um, so it's all the Wizards guys, just like yesterday, are uh, very much in play. We bring up... Um, NBA Wowie with Austin Rivers, Dwight Howard, Wall, Oubre, Markeith Morris, who's questionable right now. We don't know if he's going to play or not, but I'm assuming that he's not going to play. And Otto Porter, we get it get an 89-minute sample size for Bradley Beal. Um, he's given a 39.5% usage rating um, and leads the team with a 34% assist rate. Um, we saw uh, last game, um, or last slate, he was only 7.8K. And they rose his price, but only to 7.9K. Um, don't know how you fade him in this situation. I saw in cash games yesterday he was only 60%. Uh, you would think that he'd be a lot higher than that. Um, I don't know how you fade him, and I don't know how you fade him again. Uh, 8.4K against um, Charlotte and on FanDuel. And the game is projected to be close, only a one-point spread in favor of uh, Charlotte, but it is in Washington. I know it's a back-to-back, -back, but that doesn't really concern me whatsoever. Going to be going back to the well with him. Um, and in the same vein, I also like Sadoransky, Jeff Green, um, Thomas Bryant, Trevor Ariza. Um, I think people are going to fade Trevor Ariza just because of his poor outcome last game. I'm pretty sure he scored 19.5 fantasy points, but played 40 minutes. Um, and that's what you want. You want the minutes. Uh, his usage rate is actually up to about 21% with Bradley or with those guys off the court. So even though it is a small sample size because he just got there, um, he should be able to pay off that price tag pretty easily at 5.4K. Um, but Sadoransky, they moved his price down to 3.3K, I believe. Yeah, 3.3K. That's probably the biggest lock of the slate. Probably going to be 90 90 plus percent owned, but make sure not to miss out on that. Um, over here on Fandle, he's 3.8k. So I like all the Wizards um, and Bradley Beal for obvious reasons. And uh, it was just like yesterday. I want to get Beal in the Wizards plus Russell Westbrook, but Russell Westbrook's not on the slate. But someone with even better numbers um, than Russell Westbrook is uh, James Harden with Carmelo Anthony and Chris Paul off the court with a 534 minute sample size, so large sample size. 42.9% usage rating and a 53.1% assess rate. Pretty much every play that the Rockets run is in his hands. Somehow it's either resulting in um, him dishing it out for a, a uh, possible assist or he's going to be shooting the bucket or shooting the bucket, shooting the ball, uh, getting buckets. Um, and his price really isn't where it should be on DraftKings. It, he should be a 12 plus K player. It should be like Russell Westbrook, Sons, Kevin Durant a couple of years ago, uh, where he was nearing 13, 14 K. Um, but instead he's only 11.4 K, uh, in these last, I believe it's been four games with Chris Paul out. Um, he's been playing just to tick over 40 minutes a game. Um, but he, the, the thing that I love the most is that he's only shooting 38% and he's still averaging about 65 fantasy points per game. Um, just last year, he shot 45%. So, and now he's facing a New Orleans team that's, I believe, is fourth in pace. Um, we bring up the fastest teams. Pelicans are fourth in pace, so massive pace up spot. And they're the fifth worst um, team in defensive rating this year. Um, Drew Holiday, I would normally be scared of one-on-one -on -one defense with him, but he has taken a huge step back this year for whatever reason. Um, 
And so once James Harden starts shooting well, you saw in the first quarter yesterday where he made, like, I think he was 7 for 9 or something like that, and he's put up 30 fantasy points in the first quarter. Um, when he puts strings together a couple good quarters, which he's well uh, um, he's well capable of doing, um, and he's well capable of putting up 100 fantasy points again, I'm going to keep playing him in this situation um, because even at 65 fantasy points, he's not burning you uh, whatsoever. But the upside is just so much higher than everyone else's, even with Anthony Davis, just because Julius Randle is starting next to him. Obviously, a great play, but I'm going to be playing James Harden because the upside is just so much higher. And if he's going to be shooting 30-plus times like he has been uh, the la- these last four games, I don't know how you fade him. Um, yeah. So that's really my thoughts on tonight's slate. Going to leave the rest for the live stream tonight and uh, for my members. But... Um, hope you guys do well tonight and until next time, peace.